Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Arachakwadash. The honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto those who elect Tabernacle of David, scattered abroad through all the four corners of the earth. It's going to be another impromptu. With my, you know, as I'm heading to uh, the plantation, and basically, um, the inspiration comes from a video that was uh, posted by the the elder priest from uh, the the Mississippi camp, Priest Abadia, entitled "More Than Videos." And uh, if y'all haven't uh, seen that video. You know, I recommend, you know, go and watch that video. It's very edifying, man. You know, because uh, a lot of people think that, you know, when we talk about being diligent and being on fire, the criteria set by the volume of videos that you put up or upload or do. But it's not surely just based on how many videos you can uh, upload or, you know, put up, you know. Um, and then brother, you know, he brought out the point that just because you know a bunch of scriptures and you can post up a lot of videos, you know, it doesn't mean that you're a man of the most high. And he showed the example of how even Satan himself knew the scriptures. You know, it was the same, you know, devil that, uh, that tried to entice Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai, you know, he was at a weak point. You know, he was uh, he was in the midst of a, a, a fast, which is, uh, you know, you're uh, afflicting your soul and you become uh, physically weak. You know, the, even Yahweh Shai said the, 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 um, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And that's when Satan knew to come at Yahweh Shai when he was uh, uh, weakened. All right. So even the devil can show that he's uh, skillful in the word, too. So just because a guy is known for pulling so many precepts, that don't mean that he ain't Satan. That dude Naquam from uh, WFI, that dude he, <laughs> he 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 the scriptures be rolling off of his back and his wrists, you know, off the back of his neck when he's out there in the streets. But we know just judging that man's character and the, and the things that he's doing and the pride that he has, that dude is a demon, man. Hey, the word demon means uh, diligent. You know, so just because you know a bunch of scriptures, you know, that doesn't uh, automatically make you of the elect. All right. Now, I want to add to the to the lesson because um, brothers got to understand, you know, you can have all the wisdom in the world. You can know all these uh, precepts. But if you don't have any uh, charity, then what, you know, what, what, uh, value is there to it all right um paul said in uh corinthians you know if i have uh the gift of uh, prophecy and the understanding of all mysteries and and the faith that remove mountains yet if i have no uh charity then uh i'm nothing all right because charity you know it doesn't vaunt itself it doesn't uh Puff it, it doesn't puff up. Knowledge can actually puff you up and it can make you become uh, proud. All right? So, what good is it if you have all these things but you don't have any goodwill towards your, uh, your brothers? You know, we always quote that in uh, Sirach, the 37th chapter. You know, there's men. Who, who, who will appear to be wise in, in, in words and, and teach of many, but yet is unprofitable to himself. A man that's, a man that have small understanding but fear the most high is greater than he that have all that wisdom, have all that knowledge and transgress of the law the most high. That's in Sirach 19 chapter. And, um, you know, one of those laws being one of the main principles. Something that you learn when you first come in is, is pretty much uh, basic 101 uh, fundamental uh, principles. Is love thy neighbor as thyself. 
you know, how do you forget that part, but you know all these breakdowns and all these uh, precepts and can go into all these prophecies and go out there and, and scream at the top of your lungs, but yet you you forgetting, you know, one of the most basic fundamental things. Love thy, love thy neighbor as thyself. We're supposed to love, love one another, man. But if you ain't doing that, then what good is all that? You're, be, you're, you're not applying the, the wisdom that you're reciting. Wisdom is literally the application of the knowledge that we're out there speaking. Not just reciting it because you know it. Some of these dudes out there, that's what they get off on. They just love, love the appearance of knowing. You know? So they'll go out there and, and speak it. And brothers that are young in the mind, you know, they get um, intrigued. You can't get fascinated by that, by that man. You know, you gotta, you gotta uh, try a man's uh, spirit. You know, be not uh, hasty to, to credit a man. That's it. That's in uh, Sirach the sixth chapter, I believe. You know, praise no man before you hear him speak, and be not hasty to credit a man. All right, because he can go out there all he want. You know, talking shit about other brothers about. You know, though they're not on fire like me. You know, they're not putting up as many lessons and going into the, the prophecies like me. What kind of spirit is that, man? Well, remember, not everybody was given the same measure of uh, faith. We all were given different uh, measures, but all of the, 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 the different gifts that we all hold, the Lord gave that to us. We didn't give that to ourselves. You didn't create that gift that was within you. The Lord gave you that, and he gave you a certain measure. And not every brother had the same measure. But whatever measure you do have, yeah, you know, use that to the max. You maximize that to the best of your ability. All right? But, um, you know, you don't measure your diligence based off of just your value. All right? There's other layers to this as well. Like it tells you in uh, Peter. And to all this, add unto your uh, faith virtue. And unto virtue, knowledge. And unto knowledge, temperance. Which means what? Self-control. And that's something that certain dudes still haven't had mastered. Is how to, you know, control self, rule their spirit. And that particular individual, he had he had an issue with that. He didn't know how to rule his spirit. Anytime he came up under the liquor, he was out of control. You know, all type of demons. You know, watch, listen to all those testimonies from the different brothers. Plus, you know, I've seen him. You know, when he get got carried away with drink, when he would come out here to Vegas. You know, and I wouldn't sweat him like you know, can't you know rebuke a brother at the wine, but you know he feeling himself. You know, I'm not going to, but I saw how he was moving. That goes back to uh, doing things in moderation, man. You got to have temperance. So that's also part of the diligence as well, is mastering yourself. All right. And it said, and unto um, temperance, patience, but learning how to suffer. And unto patience, godliness, and unto godliness, brotherly kindness. All right, and if any things, any of these things be in you, he shall not be neither bearing nor lacking in the knowledge of, of Yahushai. But it, but any of you lack these things, you can't even see that you're you're you're, you're blinded and afar off. You know that that you know the, the old man hasn't really been uh, purged, but the Lord died for you so that that old man can be purged. So part of the diligence is working on yourself. It's not just based on your output. All right? And that's what we got to know and understand. So, hey, doing extra videos, yeah, that's, you know, part of it. You know, because you want to give diligence to make the call of your election sure. You want to constantly keep the flock fed. But at the same time, you don't want that to be the only thing that you're... Um, doing because the Lord's going to judge you on your actions as well 
remember, uh, it says by him actions are weighed. The, the Lord is the God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. So, okay, I see you doing your videos, but how are you, how are you doing towards uh, your Akim? You know, how is your charity? You know, are you are you showing kind, brotherly kindness and goodwill to your brothers, or are you being a nigger behind uh, closed doors? Are you mistreating brothers? Are you being a demon to brothers? Are you tearing brothers uh, down in the faith instead of building them up? Those are the things that the Lord, you know, looks at. All right. You, know, you you doing all these things like the all of the things that the brothers was bringing out in their testimony being a, a scandalous demon what good is your ministry your sacrifice is not uh sufficient be careful of, of you know the sacrifice is going up because it might not be received and you thinking that it's all well You know? Because you could be doing all this because you're an agent, or you could be doing this because because of the envy, you know, that's within you. You know, because Paul warned it, we always bring it out. You know, some preach your house shy of contention and strife. You know, and, and, and not of uh and not of goodwill. You know, some type of jealousy or rivalry going on and now you on fire because you got something to prove against uh, other individuals. You know, and the Lord sees that, man. So you could be out there as much as you want. You could be out there in the open. You could be, you know, stirring up crowds of people. Shit, it was dudes at One West. You know, men who used to be in the faith, they was out there on fire. They was doing marathon classes according to the testimonies of the apostles. It seemed like at one point they was on fire, but then what happened? A lot of them dudes, they, 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 that, 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 that candle got put out and they went right back into the world. You know? And they can happen. It can happen to any, any one of us. That's why we're not to uh, vaunt ourselves. Or we're not to get uh, proud and puffed up in this thing. We're to remain humble. Okay, and we definitely have to care for how we um, are represent, how we're representing uh, Yahweh You know, because right now Yahweh Shai is not here on the earth, so we have to be his representatives on earth. So that means we have to carry on the the, the principles and the advice that he that he gave, walking in his steps, walking in his example. Yahweh Shai wasn't treating his uh, men, you know, like some of these guys, man. Like tyrants, you know. Yahweh Shai was master, but yet he was being a a, a servant to his uh, men, and that's how we gotta be. So it don't matter, you know. You could do as many videos as you want, man, but. That doesn't automatically just make you diligent, especially if you're not diligently working on yourself. All right? Because this is about growth. You know, it's about growth. You know, we're making that transition. We're, we're, we're trying to become uh, 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 perfect. The Lord said, be ye perfect even as my Father in heaven is perfect. So that's part of the diligence, man. So, it, you know, it is what it is, man. All right, I'm, I'm not going to get, you know, puffed up just because I might know precepts and I know some breakdowns and I'm able to uh, be on fire when it comes to defending the gospel. But if I'm being a straight asshole, you know, my character is very uh, poor and I'm not being a good representation, it doesn't even matter. Satan knows the scriptures too. How, how we don't know that you could be one of Satan's uh, ministers who transformed himself into a minister of light. You know, that was what Judas was. Judas, he was a, a minister of Satan. 
But he was transformed as a minister of light when he was around Yahusha before the betrayal. He was considered a brother. So, you know, that's that's what it is, yo. <laughs> and that, that 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 it humbles me. But you know, keep that in mind, and you know that was an excellent lesson right, by the uh, uh, the priest Abaya in the Mississippi camp. It doesn't it, it doesn't matter if you doing all these extra videos, but your 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 character is very poor, and you're not applying what you know. Even it says in Sirach one and twenty nine, uh, you know, uh, take very heed to what you speak, and be not a hypocrite in the sight of men. And, ex and exalt not yourself or the Lord will bring dishonor upon you uh, upon you and and cast you down in the midst of uh, the congregation he just he uh, exposes uh, your secrets and cast you down in, in the midst of the con congregation because you came not in, in 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 the love of truth but your heart was full of deceit the Lord knows us all better than we know ourselves because he made us You ain't fooling nobody, you know. You, you ain't fooling nobody, man. You, you may be able to fool men, but you, you can't fool Yah by Shem Shah. He knows what the intents of the heart. He, he, he knows it like the back of his hand because, <laughs> hey, the, the, the candle of the Lord is like the, the, uh, the inner part of, uh, of the belly of, of man. All right? So we got to be mindful of that. So I'm, I'm, you know, this is just an impromptu. I'm just adding it to uh, that particular lesson the brother put up, man. All right, and, and brothers got to understand that, you know, and that goes for myself included. All right, that the Lord don't need any of us, man. All right, it was, it's the Lord that got you putting up those videos and shows and constantly doing these lessons it's ultimately it's the Lord we give the glory to Yahweh Shem Shai, not ourselves. I'm not finna try to compare my work with another brother's work who are thou to judge another man's servant yeah I, I would like for a brother you know if he's uh, you know dragging his feet to you know pick it, pick up the pace you know, so that's what the apostles do when they tell brothers to you know hey you know get on fire you know, especially in these last days, we we running in a race. So don't don't you know don't start dragging your feet, especially now that you know we're getting that much more closer. There's a lot going on, and we got big fish to fry. So we definitely have to uh, you know labor, and the Lord is not unforgiveful. You know when it comes to your labor of love. So we, you know, he, they said to, you know, do show the same uh, diligence. So everybody has to just be working, but it doesn't mean just, you know, just putting, pushing the message. We also got to be growing within ourselves as well, man. Okay. So uh, Lord willing, you know, this was edifying. I, you know, that was just on my spirit. You know, just another in Salaki. I didn't. I, of course, I'm driving, so I couldn't bring out any precepts. I, you know, I'm just rolling it off the, you know, off the mind. But uh, hey, you know, when the spirit is on you, you know, you just go. You know, strike while the iron is hot. But the Lord willing, this was edifying. Let me give all the praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shai. And the uh, Lord willing, I see you on the next lesson. Shalom.